Hi everyone, welcome to Study Buddy Homeschooling. In today's session, we'll be seeing announcement of Vishveshwaraya PhD scheme for electronics and IT. All the details of which is available in the link phd.dic.gov.in. So let's go into the details of this PhD scheme. Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Government of India initiated Vishveshwaraya PhD scheme for electronics and IT with an objective to enhance the number of PhDs in electronic system design and manufacturing, which is ESDM and IT or IT enabled services sectors in the country. So let's go into the objectives of this PhD program. It is to enhance the number of PhDs in electronic system design and manufacturing and IT and ITES sector. So there are about 1500 PhD candidates which are supported by the scheme, full-time 500 and part-time 1000 in each of ESDM or IT or ITES sector. The scheme is also expected to encourage working professionals and non-PhD faculty members to pursue PhD. So it's a good opportunity for working professionals in the field of ESDM and IT, ITES to do their PhD which is completely funded by the government of India. So let's go into the salient features of this PhD scheme. The scheme provides 25% more scholarship fellowship amount than most of the other PhD schemes. Part-time PhD candidates get one incentive, one-time incentive on completion of the PhD. Scheme also supports 200 young faculty research fellowships in the areas of ESDM or and IT ITES services. So out of 1500 PhD candidates which the government is going to support, 500 will be full time, 1000 will be part time, out of which 200 will be given the young faculty research fellowships in the areas of ESDM and IT ITES. So support for institution under scheme. Vishveshwaraya PhD scheme is an institutional scheme where the PhD seats are allocated to the institutions and the institutes enroll the PhD candidates on seats following their admission procedure. So let's go into the click here to check the eligibility criteria seeking support under the scheme. So who are all eligible? The minimum requirement for the institution or universities, research centers, etc. for being eligible to receive grants under the scheme is compliance to the UGC's minimum standards and procedures for award of MPhil or PhD degree regulation 2009. So all institutions falling in the following seven categories are eligible to participate in the scheme and receive grants. Seven institutions are IITs, NITs, which is National Institute of Technologies, IISE, Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research, Central Universities, Deemed Universities and Central, under Central Government, Colleges and Institutions of National Importance. And there are other institutions also which fall under this category, which are universities created under a Pro Provincial Act or State Act, that state universities, private universities, private deemed to be universities, colleges that are all allowed to offer PhDs, other academic and R&D institutions are eligible to participate in the scheme subject to the meeting of the additional eligibility criteria as mentioned below. What is the eligibility criteria? The institution should have existing postgraduate stream in ESDM, ITIES and have produced PhDs in these areas for last three years. PhD students under this scheme to be admitted as per UGC norms. So whichever institution you're going to be applying, they should have a PG stream in, in this sector as well as produce PhDs in this areas for the last three years. The institution should be recognized by AICTE and NBA accredited with respect to ESDM and ITITS or institution should be accredited by NAC which is National Assessment and Accreditation Council of UGC. Again, click here for terms and conditions governing the grant aid. So all the details regarding the grant aid is given in the website. Also for the full-time PhD candidates, candidates would be enrolled at the supported institution under the scheme as per the procedural norms, terms and conditions of the institution. In the instant, 
interested candidates are advised to contact the institution supported on the screen. Financial support provided to each full-time PhD is as follows. Fellowship amount is about 31,500. This is for the first and second year. From third and third to fourth year, it's thirty-five thousand. Revised to thirty-eight thousand seven fifty per month, which is first and second year, and forty-three thousand seven fifty to third year to fourth year. Uh, apart from that, there is an annual contingency grant support of thirty thousand per year for consumables like laptop, etc., and re reimbursement of rent for those full-time PhD candidates who are not provided accommodation or choose not to oil the accommodation provided by the institution. The ceiling for reimbursement of rent would be 30%, 20%, and 10%. Support for attending international conferences, about 50,000 per conference. All these grants are available. So there's, there are guidelines available for completion of PhD, you can click here to get to know the details. And for part time PhD candidates, the candidates would be enrolled at the supported institution under the scheme as per the procedural norms and terms and condition on conditions of that institution. Hence, the interested candidates are advised, advised to contact the institution supported under the scheme. One time incentive of 250,000 would be provided to part time PhD candidates on successful completion of PhD. So the, the guidelines are also given in this link. You can click in to know that. Apart from that, there's Eng Faculty Research Program, which I told you around out of 1,500, 200 people are selected for this in the 1 is to 5 ratio as per guidelines of the scheme for Eng faculty research program each support each institute supported under the scheme is eligible for the award of one yfrf Eng fellow faculty research fellowship for each five full-time phd candidates enrolled under the scheme since vishveshwaraya phd scheme is an institutional scheme the institution forwards the nomination for awardee of YFRF as per eligibility to PhD cell. So, financial support provided to Eng Faculty Research Fellowship is 20,000 per month in addition to the regular income mentioned above, contingency, contingency grant of 5 lakh per annum for presenting paper and research work at national and international conferences and other expenses for maximum of 5 years. So, to apply for this PhD program, for full-time, part-time, so this is the format. The application form is given in the doc as well as the PDF format. I'll click in. So this is the application form for applying for this PhD fellowship program. This is ideal for working candidates and non-PhD faculty in any reputed institution. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to our channel, Study Buddy Homeschooling. Thank you.